students welcome back to just biotech today we will discuss about probiotic probiotic products available in market including dairy products over the counter probiotic drugs natural probiotics and the mechanism of action on our body so what are probiotics in scientific terms any live microorganism that confer a health benefit on the host when administered in adequate amount is a probiotic the rule for a product to be called a probiotic is that it must contain one or more type of microorganism that affect human body in beneficial manner generally probiotics are intended to assist the body in naturally acquiring gut microbiota probiotics are therefore live microbes formulated into many different types of products including food drugs dietary supplements and dairy products Probiotics are often recommended by the nutritionist and sometimes by doctor and a range of product types are available in the market. The most common forms for probiotic products are dairy products and probiotic fortified foods. However, tablets, capsules and sachets containing the bacteria in freeze dried form are available. Microbes used as probiotic products Species of Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium are most commonly used as probiotics, but the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae and some E. coli and Bacillus species are also used. Lactic acid bacteria, including Lactobacillus species, which have been used for thousands of years for preservation of food by fermentation, can serve dual functions for acting as an agent for food fermentation and in addition imparting health benefits. Lactic acid bacteria is a functional classification of non-pathogenic, non-toxicogenic, gram-positive, fermentative bacteria that are associated with production of lactic acid from carbohydrates, making them useful for food fermentation. Fermentation is a process by which a microbe transforms food into other products, usually through production of lactic acid, ethanol, and other metabolic end products. How do we name a probiotic strain? A probiotic strain is identified by the genus, species, and an alphanumeric designation. In the scientific community, there is an agreed nomenclature for microbes. For example, Lactobacillus gramnosus GD, Lactobacillus KZ DN114001. Marketing and trade names are not regulated, and companies can call their products whatever they want. Examples of a few popular probiotic products and strains include Bifidobacterium animalis from Danon Products, Bifidobacterium brevi Yakult present in Yakult, Bifidobacterium infantis C564 in Procter & Gamble, Lactobacillus KZ Shirota present in Yakult and Lactobacillus Johnsoni Lev LA1 present in Nestle Products. A Yakult contains approximately 6.5 billion lactobacillus KZ strain Shirota. Probiotic defines when most people think of bacteria, they picture disease-causing organisms and need to fight infection. Although there are many types of harmful bacteria, the body contains many forms of friendly or helpful bacteria in the intestine. Known as intestinal microflora, these have specific functions that help the body. The gastrointestinal tract is a complex system that allows body to digest and absorb food while removing waste from the body. For the intestinal tract to function properly, normal flora must be present in good numbers, that is, more of good bacteria known as probiotics and less of harmful bacteria. The intestine is the body's most important immune function related organ. Approximately 60% of body's immune cells are present in intestinal mucosa, the innermost surface of intestine. An important influence of upper intestinal bacteria on immune function is suggested by the presence of a large number of organized lymphoid structures known as Peer's patches. These Peer's patches are specialized for the uptake and sampling of antigens and induction of adaptive immune response. Probiotics affect the intestinal ecosystem by stimulating mucosal immune mechanisms and by stimulating non-immune mechanisms through competitive with potential harmful pathogens. The immunologic benefits include the activation of local macrophages to increase antigen presentation to B lymphocytes and increase secretory immunoglobin A. They also modulate cytokine profile. Non 
immunologic benefits include like digest food and compete for food for with pathogens. They alter local pH to create an unfavorable local environment for pathogens. Probiotics produce bacterial toxins to inhibit pathogens. They also scavenge superoxide radicals. Probiotics stimulate epithelial mucin production and enhance bacterial intestinal barrier function. Probiotics compete with for addition with pathogens and modify pathogen derived toxins. Probiotics find clinical application in following conditions namely cardiovascular diseases, colon cancer, diarrhea including acute diarrhea, antibiotic associated diarrhea and radiation induced diarrhea, helicobacter pyroli, allergy, hepatic encephalopathy, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome and lactose malabsorption. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more such videos and hit the bell button for timely.